Thank you so much, Maria. Um, we do have, I mean, I want to make a few minutes for questions if you have any. So if you, do you have to go somewhere? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll keep you here. Um, do you guys have any questions on, on trade policy that you would like to ask? Maria. And then I'll address you perhaps the, the stuff that she raised at the end. Maybe our guests who might be misled about the presentation might want to ask something then <laughs> about everything they missed. Ben? Well, you, you might have covered it, Maria, but what, what led to the, the regime change, you know, the shift to neoliberal uh, economics in 2006? Would it not have been a little bit before then? Um, and, and if so, you know, what was the thinking internally that led to that, that change? So just for the people listening, I should have gone on there, but what, what caused the shift towards neoliberal thinking in the Commission? Thank you. Uh, okay. uh, I would argue, I mean, it's not a, a hard shift, because in essence the, the European Commission has always been straight policy, it's always been quite a neoliberal policy. It's always been about opening markets, it's always been about that. Um, but I think pre-2006 it was more tempered with a concern with development, linkage to development. It was couched in a different discourse. So I think a lot of the difference is cosmetic rather than in depth if you look at the actual, at the actual policies. Um, 2006, global Europe is much more aggressive. I mean, the discourse is aggressive, it's about competition, it's very defensive. Um, and I think the change comes about with the change of commissioner. I think the different personalities from Mani to each man some different nationality. Uh, but I think also a lot of it, in my view, was uh, mediated by the US. Uh, when the Doha round starts to fail in the early 2000s, the US uh, started a very aggressive campaign of bilateral trade negotiations. And it, yeah, even in American documents, it does say this, that the aim was to break down opposition to what, uh, to the type of liberalization they wanted to offer to the WTO. And they start doing this. And they start getting better access to service markets in other parts of the world, uh, and issues that European companies were not being able to benefit from. So I think there was a very clear uh, desire to be on a par with the Americans. And in fact, a lot of the negotiations, the EU starting point is being, you gave the Americans this, so we want the same, plus these other things. Um, so there's been that, that issue, I think, has been quite, quite prevalent in changing the discourse. But I would argue that trade okay, policy has always been, it's always had that neoliberal thrust from the very beginning. It's just tempered in different, at different moments in time and, and couched slightly differently. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, well, happy later day because we're eating up the time for a few presentations. So we'll break for a couple of minutes and time to go out. Come back, stretch your legs, and then we'll continue with your presentations.